previously on. The Institute is my life. Ew. You guys sound like you're in a weird science cult. Is there anything else you want to say? As you gave life to Father. He gave life to me. Okay, life. the end. I need a terminal. Maintenance requests should be directed to the facilities division. You got three toes on each foot, my boy. A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. You scary as hell. Oh, a terminal. I'm on my way to see the undercover, the mysterious, the unknown. Patriot. If you encounter a hazardous chemical spill, please alert the facilities division immediately. Thank you, Synth. I appreciate you. Now, if I'm meeting this Patriot, does that mean... You know, it would be really funny if I met Tom Prady. The OG Patriot player, but you know... Sometimes you just can't have all your wishes come true. Question is, though, would I be able to find this guy pretty fast, or would I just be mindlessly walking around, not knowing what to do? Ooh, wait. Huh. I guess... I'll be able to find him a lot more sooner than I was assuming. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. A friend named Tinker Tom cracked your encryption. He must have had some serious hardware to pull that off. He's boss wow. like that. Your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? The railroad sent me to look for someone they call Patriot. That's you. What? The railroad? Yes. As in the railroad? Yes. You gave me a code name too? I kept sending sins to the surface hoping someone would help them. I hoped the railroad got to some of them, but I never knew for certain. You've saved a lot of sense. So much to take in. But wait, with you in the picture, I have this idea. Yeah. To rescue a lot of synths at once. But we'll need help. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. All right, we could talk about something else. Um... You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck, you look positively normal to me. That's uh, because no I was offense. a frozen TV dinner for the past 200 years. I'm but... not sure if we could ever make the surface actually a decent place to live. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't at least try to Nothing to report, you know? ma'am. Damn, okay. Shit. Liam, so you're the reason why all these sins have been mysteriously Good. escaping. He's here. C-114. It's me. Sir. Do you require something? It's okay, Z1. She's a friend. She's with the railroad. Meeting here is dangerous. And you bring a stranger. You. How do I know we can trust you? Because the members of the railroad have dedicated their lives to fight for your freedom. I... I thought only Mr. Benet cared. But your friends actually fight for us? That's what the railroad does, Z1. She's from the surface. I've never met another human willing to help. But, sir, we must make this quick. Right now. How many synths want to escape, Z1? The ones I know for certain? Thirteen. Damn. That'll take forever. Let's free those thirteen all in one go. I would do anything for my people. But how do we get them to the teleporter? It's no good. The old maintenance tunnels that lead there are always sealed. By the SRB. Hmm. If I can find a way to open those doors, could you get your synths to the teleporter room? Yes. We'll talk later. Someplace more secure. Wow, I just love how they're planning their escape right in the open. Knowing that there's some scientists who could possibly eavesdrop. But you know what? Fallout 4 logic does not exist, so... I Liam. love it. Just a few high security doors, right? 
controlled by cutting edge SRB security tech. Yeah, a head on hack is the sucker play. So we go at them sideways. You're willing to help, right? I can't do this alone. Of course I'll help you. Our core security architecture hasn't fundamentally changed from the old CIT days. The original security program was called Code Defender. Revolutionary stuff. We still have terminals running version 1, mothballed in storage. With some persuasion, I can get an old terminal to interface with the new security terminals. Enough to open doors, at least. Problem is, I can't even crack version 1. So I need a good old-fashioned username and a password. And that's nowhere to be found in the Institute. But if you could get me a pre-war admin password from the surface, I could log right in. Where would I find that? Unfortunately, I don't know. Damn. The obvious place won't work. Damn, the CIT Liam. ruins were picked clean years ago, but some of the admins had to live off campus. Ask your friends in the railroad. I need those login credentials. All right, in that case, let me go to Desdemona because she should have she should have some sort of an idea. I can never get over on how I can teleport back and forth like that. Like, how do I not have motion Half sickness? Already, but something so big. I can't ask people to keep it secret any longer. The rumor is true. One of our agents has made it inside the Institute. Is this what Tinker Tom was working on? Yes, Tom's work is related. But the device and the assembly was the Wanderer's doing. After the device was assembled, she made it inside the Institute, and then back out. Where is the Institute? We're not sure exactly. Best guess is that it's somewhere under the old CIT. But they've been using a teleportation device to get in and out, so it could be anywhere. What did she find out? I know you all have questions, but I've said everything I'm going to. But know this, the ops you're planning and running now are the most important of our lives. We have a chance at rescuing more synths than we ever dreamed of. So get it done. Does I, I have met Patriot yet? I met Patriot. His name is Liam Benet. I knew you'd get the job done. We need every scrap of intel you picked up in there. Write up a full report on Pam's terminal. After you're done, we'll analyze it and figure out the next step. Get to it. Yeah, the Desimona. thing. Good work on Augusta. I'd rather know the hard truth than live in ignorance. Okay, fine. I'll just do the report hey, on Pam. It's the Wanderer. The Wanderer's back. Hello, railroad agent who's too excited to I'm see me, bro. Busy. Shut up, Carrington. You really think I want your bitch ass help? I hate that guy. He's so annoying. Hello, Pam? Systems locked. Building statistical model for Operation Tea Party. How cute. I like the name. Uh, let me enter the report here. Though it wasn't a certainty, thankfully the signal interceptor worked. When I materialized, I found myself in an empty room. Z114 can get the 13 cents in place. But in order for them to make it to the teleporter, Patriot needs the username and password for V1 of CIT's Code Defender. End of report. Rebuilding takes time, but we have the men and women to do it. Desdemona. If you need something, take it. That's what it's there for. Preliminary analysis complete. Anything we need to move on? Affirmative. Code name Patriot. Requires admin credentials for Code Defender security software. Cross indexing CIT security administrators with 2077 Commonwealth Census records. Filtering by surviving structures. One match found. Bergman, Wilfred, Bergman, Wilfred, registered as co owner of Cambridge Polymer Labs. Oh. Estimated 81 percent chance of login credentials being located at this facility. I hate going to the labs, bro. What can you tell me about Cambridge Polymer? Cambridge Polymer Labs, LLC, 
had several active military contracts specializing in robotics. The region is currently classified as extremely dangerous. After you get the password report back here, with any luck, we'll have a game plan by then. All right, Kate, you know what to do. We're going to get the password from the lab, so... Uh, I guess here it goes. Okay, we're here at the labs again. But for a different reason this time. Let me just check up on Kate. Hey, what is it? Hey there. Yeah? Your thoughts? Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pocket full of caps. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. Rather be with you than being leered at by raiders while fighting in a cage. Okay, that sounds That's actually pretty good. Now. Sure. All right, Kate. Let's go. Let me put in some new ammo because I know for a fact this is going to be one hell of a ride. Don't do anything. Welcome you to the full Cambridge regret. Polymer Labs. Employment opportunities await in the field of scientific research. Shall we begin your application now? Sure. The world may have ended, but why not sit at a desk all day? Let's see what employment opportunities we have available for someone given your qualifications. Due to increased demands for staff in all fields, we have condensed the employment test accordingly. Really? Question one. Do you possess previous experience with polymer synthesis? Sounds like you need me regardless, so let's get down to brass tacks. Calculating test results. I am pleased to offer you the position of sales coordinator. Ha. Expect a loquacious future in haggling for military funding. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Orientation? The orientation is intended to provide the new employee with a history of the company to enrich their working experience. Would you like the orientation before beginning your work in the labs? Who the... Yeah. No, let's just move it along. Due to staffing needs, we can forego the orientation at this time. Perfect, Please Molly. To the research lab, so that you may begin your work. Complimentary beverages are provided for employees. Please label any food or cigarettes you leave in the break room. The thing is, I believe that. Ooh, hell yeah! I'm gonna get this shit. Anyways, I believe that won't be a problem with me labeling stuff. Where'd she go? Okay. Sales staff are provided with a business suit, the cost of which will be deducted from your first commission. Excuse take me? A moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. Are you gonna the deduct? Will greet you on the other side Money? The Thank you for your attention and welcome to the team. Okay. Please enter the clean room. Okay. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezonucleic lining project is completed. Making me Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Wollum, for specific research assignment. Starting decontamination sequence. Okay, so you mean to tell me we're stuck here until the project is done? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, lord. Complete. Oh my god, what an ass. I walked into a booby trap. As if I actually want to be in a booby trap. Alright, alright. Calm down. First, let me get... Right away. Yep. And yeah, it should be good. Alright, Kate, uh, is there anything you can do to unlock the door or nah? Okay, that's enough. Decontamination. Okay. Okay. This sucks. Oh my god, we're stuck here. Can't believe we're fucking stuck. Anyways, let's go. Wow! 
I can't even open any of the rooms due to security lockdown. I'm gonna die. Okay, anything? No. Okay, cool. Alright, so we're screwed. What the hell is this? Oh, okay, let me see here. Initial studies have led us to hypothesize that by taking a known blah blah blah, lead blah blah blah, and properly applying a polymer of gold and lithium hydrate, the localized conversion of ionizing radiation to electrical energy might be achieved. This method of compact energy harvest may prove suitable for application to pre-existing power armor currently in use by U.S. armed forces. Initial tests have proved that the methodology- Blah! Shit. I hate pronouncing words sometimes. Methodology is sound. Radioactive energy harvest is 15 times higher than currently all mo motive fusion engines. Unfortunately, there are still problems that we need to overcome. The ionic ex excitation in the gold that produces the harvestable electrons also create a buildup of thermal waste. That's not good. That's horrible. The heat is not substantial from a micro perspective, but due to the low shear molius, the gold suspension in the nanowave starts to break down quickly under extended use. We are going to attempt to change the dosing pattern on the gold to produce thinner strands through the material. The increased surface area should not dissipate the thermal energy much like the heat sink. Okay, so it seems like a lot of these logs are detailing on the projects and experiments that these scientists are going through. So let me see here. We've been trapped in the lab for days now and tensions are running high. The team is fractured and falling apart. They don't know what is going on outside and have started ma making attempts to escape the lab. While I was sleeping, they managed to cut a hole through the thinner interior wall of the clean room. But I have been unable to break through the hardened outer wall. Will started talking with some of the out with some of the others about going at the problem from a more up oblique angle, which got me thinking about the thermal dissipation problem when it dawned on me. If we change dosing patterns so it isn't producing nano holes perpendicular to the surface, but instead of at an angle, we might be able to reflect the most direct radioactive particles and trap only those coming in at an applique angle to the material. We would achieve a lower energy harvest, but the heat dissipation issues might be res might be solved. Tom, Mary, and I are going to gather the samples needed to try it. We've been unable to gather the samples needed to try the new dosing pattern. Will has locked himself in one of the labs and has been attempting to hack into the administrative systems. When we tried to get the U-238 we need from the isotope containment, he locked it down, leaving Mary stranded inside. He said he is going to set the facility defense system so that it looks like the lab has been breached. This will unlock the clean room, but will also activate the automatic defenses which will see us as attackers. Oh, that's not good. He means to fight his way out, but that's suicide. He's the only one in the lab with military training, and we don't even have real weapons. I've tried to tell him that we can complete the project that we have, a, we have the answer now. But he refuses to see reason and doesn't believe John will actually let us out. We've managed to pull down part of the ceiling in C1, which will get us into the utility crawl space. It can't get us out, but it should be able to get us above the lab Will has barricaded himself in. I don't like it, but we have to get the drop on him. Alright, thank you for that. It seems like there is some sort of way for us to move along. What is this? Uh, okay. I guess that's where they do the experiment, but... Of course. Who's coming? No one? Aha! I knew it! I hate these things. Oh, shit. 
Oh lord, this is horrible. Whoa, whoa. Oh no, you don't. You know how to show a girl at this time. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself because I don't. Shut up. You know, I just like getting the bo bottle caps. It makes me feel like I'm getting a lot of money. Alright, some first aid. Stimmy, a blood pat. Why not? Ooh, 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 oh my god. How did I not notice that before? It's pretty interesting. Yeah, this, this labs, it's like... Ooh, another one. Honey, you have no idea. This is basically a walking graveyard. Can I unlock this or nah? Oh, I don't want to do no password bullshit. Alright, Kate, let's go. I'm climbing upstairs. Maybe, maybe there's some way for us to at least go upstairs so we can leave this place. Ooh, the radiation is real. Ooh, a soda. Why are you so excited, bro? Like, ah, oh, it's in here, huh? How do I? Okay, I'm gonna try and crawl. Yeah? Damn it! Ah, uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. I can tell. Alright, yeah, let me go this way then. See if I can... This, this place is crazy. I wonder if I'm actually killing the remaining scientists that slowly became ghouls, because if that's the case, I'm like so sad. I really am. Ah, okay. Okay, this is good. So, caved in, and then we should be able to get above the lab. That's perfect, actually. Oof. Yeah, this is fine. I'm pretty happy. Oh my god. Alright, the lab's here. Woo! Oh shit. Um, okay. And I see here that there's a little booby trap. Perfect. Let me just go on the station and we'll should be all set. Ooh. Okay, I got the password for Code Defender. Not bad. And the system's right here. Let me see if I'm able to override this. Defense systems are set to kill on sight. Ooh. That's a... Uh, disengage, lockdown. Okay. This is, uh, let me see if I can, okay, you know what, we should be good at this point. Alright, oh shit, oh shit, oh, what the hell? Thank god it was one of those ice things and not the real bomber kind, because I would have been screwed.
All right, that machine is shooting everything, so... Open the door, please. Thank you. Oh, okay, fine. Attack on sight? Oh, well. I never asked to work for this company, but whatever. Ah, oh, Molly! No, she's our enemy now? That really sucks. Come on, Molly. I thought we had a thing together. I thought we were best buddies, bro. Come on, Molly. Oh, you know what? Fuck you two. Anyways, let's go. I guess I lost my job. Ooh, what's this? Anyways, I'm leaving. Let's go. Come on, Kate. This was a very lackluster mission. Thankfully, I wasn't too stuck. Oh, shit. What, what is that? Time to have some fun. Kate. Kate! Oh, come on. Alright, so should we explore? Should we? Yeah, let's explore a bit. Why not? Toilet. Toilet. Theater. Theator. Oh, that must have hurt. Let me see what's up here. Because I'm actually pretty curious myself. into places I'm not wanted is a talent I've acquired over the years. Really? I am not surprised. Really, I'm not surprised. Okay, so this is the office and let's open up this door. I'm pretty curious. Locks really strong. Never mind. I'm not interested. Let's go. I am back. I am alive. This robot was trying to trap me because she wanted me to complete some sort of an experiment. But on whatever. our side, we've gone through your report. It was extraordinary. So many pieces of the puzzle clicked into place. Our final analysis indicates the Institute is far more formidable than we ever feared or imagined. If we stage a mass breakout, Patriots 13 Synths will undoubtedly be the last we ever save. Instead, we use this one chance to rescue all the synths. Every last one of them. That's a bold plan. We can't waste this opportunity. The Institute will never let their slaves go without a fight. So the heart of our problem is manpower. Even if we call in all our agents, and we will, we won't be able to hold our own against the Institute for long. Talk with C-114. If the synths down there want freedom, they must fight and risk their lives to earn it. Z1 seems capable of that. We always thought Patriot was the savior of the synths. But it may be more accurate to say that Z1 is. As much as we owe Patriot, we can't be certain how committed he is. If he learns we're willing to kill to free synths, he may not have the stomach for it. So get what you need from him and then cut him loose. Good luck. Damn. We're all with you. Ma'am, this is crazy. Use the back entrance. Too much traffic through the church and we'll burn this hideout. So there's a possibility we might have to get rid of Patriot if he's not with the plan. Question Anything is... Anything to report from the Institute? Am I ready to handle that possibility? Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies and I'll see you next week.